So coastal researchers and universities and government agencies have been quantifying rates of shoreline movement and studying coastal change for decades. Before GPS and LIDAR technologies were developed, the most commonly used sources of historical shoreline posi position were NOAA T-sheets and aerial photographs. Extraction of shoreline position from these data sources involves geo-referencing maps or aerial photographs and subsequently interpreting and digitizing a shoreline position. Depending on location, data source, and scientific preference, different proxies for shoreline position are used to document coastal change. Today, researchers study shoreline changes for a multitude of reasons, including beach renourishment monitoring, storm impacts, and coastal engineering projects. Let's look at a dynamic coastal area in Chincoteague National Wildlife Refuge, a barrier island system located along the eastern shore of Virginia. This is a protected area that is managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Directly to the north along the Maryland-Virginia state boundary is neighboring Assateague Island National Seashore that is managed by the National Park Service. Chincoteague National Wildlife Refuge includes more than 14,000 acres of beach, dunes, marsh, and maritime forest, natural coastal processes, intense storms, and sea level rise are dominant forces that continue to shape the barrier island. Storms and waves pull sand from the dunes and beaches and deposit in offshore sandbars. This action reduces beach width in some areas and redeposits sand in others. Tom's Cove is an area in the southern portion of Chincoteague Refuge that has been studied for decades documenting shoreline change. I have obtained historic shoreline delineation data from the USGS, as you can see. This is a very dynamic area. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily delineate the shoreline in ArcGIS Pro using image classification and perform a comparison between delineated shoreline segments for different years. This is a semi-automatic GIS-centric method for delineating shoreline in a, in a quick way to visualize and quantify that change. So today we're using four band NAEP 2014 and 2016 imagery to delineate respective shoreline segments and compare the change between two years. For the sake of time, we'll subset our AOI to speed up processing. Using a shoreline polygon buffer that I've pre-developed, we will clip our imagery using an extract by mask tool. So here I have my input raster set as that NAEP 2016 imagery, and I have my output raster set there. And I have the uh, results uh, coming into the display here. Uh, <clears throat> next, we're going to perform image classification using the ISO cluster unsupervised classif classification geoprocessing tool. We're going to ask for two classes, hoping to delineate both land and water separately. So we have a very quick result there. And now that we have our classification results, we want to get our data into a vector format using the raster to polygon tool. So 
This will convert our classified data into vector polygons. And now we're going to convert the resultant polygon layer into a line. From here, you can select out the segments that make up the shoreline and prepare for comparison. Using the same methodology, I pre-process the shoreline against the 2014 NAEP imagery. So here's my ISO cluster classification, uh, the resultant polygon, uh, polyline, and the cleaned up shoreline. Now that we have the shoreline segments from 2016 and 2014 delineated, we can compare the shoreline using the generate rubber sheet links from the conflation tool set. This tool finds where the source line features spatially match the target line features and generates lines representing links from source locations to corresponding target locations. Change the color here. Make it a little bit more visually appealing. Using the results from the rubber sheeting, we can use the charting tools to quickly visualize the shape length field and understand the amount of change. This helps us understand the amount of change that has occurred along this shoreline over the two-year time period. Now we'll venture further offshore, where Flora Vale from the analysis and geoprocessing team will show us some of the new, powerful visual analytical capabilities of ArcGIS Pro.